On my last video, I told you guys I would heart all the comments for seven days. And compared to answering, hearting was actually pretty easy. I only spent 10 hours hearting comments, even though I got some spammers. But of all of these comments, there was one comment that especially really caught my attention. Nikki, not a pop star, commented and told me that guitar is so easy. Try piano read. I told her piano is easier. And Nikki, not a pop star, said, okay. Play La Campanella by Liz Retard. La Campanella by Liszt is widely regarded as the hardest piano piece ever invented by mankind. La Campanella means little bell, and this is because of the high repeated notes played by the right hand at a super fast speed. It is also technically demanding because it uses a lot of different piano techniques throughout the piece, and I don't know a single one of them, because except for River Flows in You, I don't know how to play piano. But I'm a strong believer that even if you're terrible at playing now, you can still learn some of the hardest songs on any instrument if you just spend enough time practicing. So I'm going to answer one question. Can you possibly learn any song on the piano with enough patience, even when it's the hardest song of all? My plan? Practice all day, every day for 12 days. Just a quick note before I move on. The times fail counter, it's me counting how many times I have to replay the same part over and over again. Kind of like this. Hopefully it will eventually be one successful playthrough in the end of this video. So it's day two now and I just booked a piano lesson for one of my last days of learning, which is going to be day 11. Teti Chernikov, the teacher, wanted to know how much I already knew, so I told her and I also sent her the footage of me playing day one. I told her that I was going to practice for 10 days until the lesson. What I didn't tell her was that I was going to practice extremely much on this really hard piece. So it will be interesting to see how she reacts if I actually manage to learn at least a little bit of La Campanella. At this point, I realized that I was learning way too slowly. I started to look at YouTube tutorials to help me learn more effectively, but I was tired of all the generic teaching advice like practice slowly, be more relaxed, and I really don't know more, but yeah. So I hired a private investigator on Fiverr to help me see things from a new perspective. And I asked him if he could help me uncover list secrets to piano practice because I was really just looking for a quick fix. But it turns out the investigator had been a piano teacher himself for many years. He told me that there are no shortcuts to learning this piece and he found that many piano players have practiced it for years but still couldn't master it. Then he proceeded to tell me to practice slowly and be more relaxed. So I realized that it may actually be generic advice for a reason. So I took it to heart and started to practice again. At this point, it was getting pretty repetitive to play the same part over and over again. So I was starting to lose my mind and my motivation. So I hired the cheapest voice actor on Fiverr and sent him a script he could read for me whenever I felt like giving up. 
So he asked me, can you please provide any reference for the script, I mean any vocal directions. I told him just say it in an encouraging way, I'm not that picky. Never stop this practice now, Matthias or small PP you is. Haha, <laughs> keep make noise. On day 8, it felt so much better. Until I rewatched this footage, because I'm playing the wrong note over and over again. And I don't have much time to actually fix this, so yeah. I sent you the video of me playing like day one and then I, I have practiced a bit on it uh, but I've never played piano before so yeah I can only play River Flows in You because that's the only song I knew before uh, but I'm really just a guitarist. Which, you don't know, you can't name notes. No, not I mean yeah I think I can. Oh that's the... <laughs> yeah, it's like this. And then it's like... And then I practiced a lot on like getting this down. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you're yeah, not that good. You know, I have feelings that you study piano. You, you say you're a beginner, oh my god, but beginners don't play like you. <laughs> Play before you no, no, only real flows in you. <laughs> but I played yeah. that song many times, but never any yeah. other songs. More friendly, more friendly, yeah. Just don't, 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 don't uh, put your, don't do your with your hands like that. Okay. okay. It's just, just normal. Okay, <laughs> be normal, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was someone who was calling. <laughs> so, like... Yeah, you, your body, and then that position. Yeah, like, but, yeah. On, the, on your belt, you just... 90 degree, 90 degree. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, and your hands, like, they're very free. Like a sausage, yeah, yeah. very tension. But your hands, free and look, like, look, like a... Yeah. Very, very... Oh my god, plastic. Uh, like a... Uh, like a bird, I'm not sure. Like a... After the call, I was really happy that Tieti liked my progress and I got her approval. I really enjoyed the lesson, not because I got many compliments on an instrument I barely had any experience with and this turned out into a weird flex to you guys, but because she showed me what everyone has tried before, but I never listened. Maybe that's why I stopped playing guitar for two years, because my arms were never like sausages. With that said, I almost forgot why I made this video in the first place. Vicky. So to answer the question in the beginning of this video, could you actually learn any song on piano with enough patience? I mean, kind of, but also not really. Um, I will let you decide in the comments. But no matter what, I need a Nikki to believe that I learned a full song, so I came up with this really high IQ plan. I told him just say it in an encouraging way. Error 
error. Your internet is so bad. 404, so bad internet you should do something else. Stop watching now, Nikki. I mean you who is watching. In the end of this ad, I'm going to tell you exactly how many days I'm going to answer all the comments on this video. This video is sponsored by my friends at Surfshark VPN. So I've been using Surfshark for two months now and this is kind of my impression. First off, a VPN keeps whatever you do on the internet more secure and anonymous, which for me, it kind of makes the experience at least 10% better just to do the regular browsing. But the main reason I like to use Surfshark is because there's no lockdown going on in Sweden right now but it doesn't matter because I've been isolating myself since I was like 15 anyway. You kind of run out of shows to watch on Netflix that you actually care about. But with Surfshark, you can just switch your country server to another country. So I can switch to Japan if I want to watch all the seasons of the anime Jojo. And a lot of you who's watching are from the US. If you want to watch Rick and Morty, you can switch to the UK servers. With that said, why should you really sign up now? Because I have a code for you. The code is Matthias or Matthias, and you will get 83% off Surfshark, and you will also get three extra additional months for free. So please use the link in my description. And also, I will answer all the comments on this video for four days. So if you do sign up, please let me know in the comments, and I will give your comment a heart. Thank you.